Hold on. So this is an additional song. This is an, a new song by InSync. Justin Timberlake featuring in sync. I guess that's how he's doing it now. Justin Timberlake with in sync. That would be like me saying ATM machine, like Joey Lawrence with the Lawrence Brothers. Well, he's one of the Lawrence Brothers. Why is he saying? Yeah. Because my name has to be first. That's why. So it's Justin Timberlake with in sync. So jo it's jo Justin Timberlake with I Justin like, Timberlake with in sync. I like that. Joey Lawrence <laughs> and the Lawrence, and the Lawrence, Lawrence Brothers. Brothers. Yeah. Everybody, happy Friday. Welcome to the Brody Love Pod. Yeah. Welcome, yes. welcome, welcome to the pod. Everybody. Yes, we are in the house. You're in the house. And we have somebody very special. Very special guest. Very special guest, everybody. Put your hands together for Joey Fatone from NSYNC, everybody. Joey? Joey? <laughs> um, well? Darn uh, it. Uh, well, as I was it turns out. forward to having a... Uh, you know, both you guys turn to me when I say Joey today. Yeah. yeah. The whole episode, we were going to do a whole thing. Yeah. We even have the little animal wrangler with the baby kangaroos that were going to come down. We were going to do a whole- Joey's. A whole Joey thing. But wow. unfortunately for Tone- Yeah, I don't he's, know. Uh, Something's going on. Is he's, he's standing uh, us up. It might he's be a not bit standing of this. us He's standing us up. Yep. It's like he did it on purpose. No. No, it was an did. unintentional- no, I mean, it was an unintentional snafu. It was an unintentional, intentional snafu. Scheduling snafu. Scheduling snafu that could have been avoided, but it wasn't. <laughs> These weird things. Anyway, uh, so we're gonna pull an audible, uh, and uh, you it's know what? You be got the three us. of us here. Talking. You got us, everybody. We're saving it with a solo. Saving it with a solo. All right. I will say we absolutely love Fatone. We and do. We go way back, and he's an awesome dude. However, today, you know, things happen, and it, maybe it was out of his control. Maybe it wasn't. <laughs> we, well, maybe he just. But we will get an answer when he is finally on you know, this pod. <laughs> you know what I associated to? You remember that thing that Donnie Wahlberg said a few weeks back when he was like, you know, you just have to be like, you just sometimes you just have to barrel through and do things even when you don't want to. He's like, oh, you know, remember when I woke up this morning and I was like, eh, I, I could have bailed, I could have said I don't want to do it, I'm not feeling well. But his, lovely wife wife, like, his lovely wife, his lovely wife, his lovely wife, like, get your ass down to that yeah. basement and call those brothers. Damn it, Donnie, the Lawrence right. brothers need you today. Right. And he did it. Yeah. And he said, you know what, I feel better for doing it, right? We had a good yeah. We've all had those moments. Oh, yeah. I guarantee you Fatone had one of those moments. No, well, maybe, no, you know, I it could have been traffic. You know what it is? He said he was driving. Yeah. Now, he has a Knight Rider kit car. I don't know whether he was in that one because- Does he really? If he was, <laughs> then his answer Wait. was complete bullshit because that car has super pursuit mode and turbo boost. Oh, God. And he definitely could have been anywhere that he needed to go. And he Mr. does have and, a Knight Rider. And, and I wonder also, if Mr. Feeney is, is the voice of the navigation in the Knight Rider. Yeah, absolutely. We could, we could do that friend. with AI for sure now. You can. Wow. You can. But we were going to have him on because it's a very special day today. Uh, Justin Timberlake's new record, his entire record dropped. Mm. And InSync has a single on that record as well. That's right. You know, they had the, well, they they're, had, they're they had doing the Trolls a, they're single. They're coming back. Right. The Trolls, the Maybe. single off the Trolls. Right. They're definitely coming back. It's really? just that Justin probably, well, I would suspect. That's the talk of the that. town. I would suspect that because the Justin, fans are saying it. Because Justin now has the them fans on his record. Obviously, he wanted to do his record first. We were going to talk to Fatone about this because the it's fans interesting. Want it? His record came out first, so he's like, "Here's the deal, guys. I'm uh, we're going to do in sync, and I'm back, and I love it being with you guys again. But my record has to come out first. Okay, so that happened. But Paradise is the single that In Sync is on mm. on that record, and everybody's listening I feel to like it. I've heard it. Pa no one's no, heard you're thinking Paradise. of para para. Paradise. It's Coldplay. Wait a minute. <clears throat> oh, it's called Paradise. It's called Paradise. But you know what we decided to do, guys? That's not the one from the Troll record. No. Trolls is, um, uh, Trolls was like a, a better way or something. Hold oh, on. Oh, right, 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 Hold right, right. on, hold on. So this is an additional song. This is an, a new song. By InSync. Justin Timberlake Featuring and InSync. InSync. I guess that's how he's doing it now. Justin Timberlake with InSync. Even though, in my opinion, that's like a double entendre. That would be like me saying... ATM machine. Like, like Joey Lawrence with the Lawrence Brothers. Well, he's one of the Lawrence Brothers. Why is he saying? Yeah. Because my name has to be first. That's why. So it's Justin Timberlake with sync. So jo it's Joey, Justin Timberlake with I Justin like, Timberlake with sync. I like that. Joey Lawrence. And the Lawrence, and the the Lawrence, Lawrence Brothers. Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Wouldn't people start to go... Why is Joey being such a pill? Why is Joey having to be recognized in front of the Lawrence Brothers, which he's also recognized in? <laughs> you take up, you take up, two. you want double the accolades. Yeah, I want double. It's Joey Lawrence, and Joey Lawrence is part of the Lawrence Brothers. Yeah. You take up two thirds of the uh, yeah. album cover. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like the mini, a picture it's of you your and eyes. Then a picture of the three of us. Right, right. <laughs> Guys, almost yeah. though, that's kind of what yeah, it is. Good. It's so that's funny. funny. So the InSync or the Justin Timberlake record, should I say, came out a week ago. Yes. But 
Paradise is in sync single on there. So, but it's yeah, and and the way that it's credited, if I'm not mistaken, is JT uh, and JT's in sync. <laughs> what exactly? Yes, it is. Hold on, here it is. Here it is. It is right here. I'm looking it up. Uh, yeah, it's Paradise featuring in sync. Mm. So it's so funny because he's it's a little separation of church and state. We were going to talk to Fatone about this, but he didn't show up. So you know what, guys? We're going to save it with a solo. We're saving this week's episode with a solo. And I, I know everyone's disappointed out there that that, that Fatone's not here, but you but you but you have Joey Lawrence and the Lawrence brothers. So you have. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, so what do you guys think? We also in in the what in the last uh, in the last couple of weeks we had the Oscars, mm-hmm. right? We had that. Did you see Pacino? No, my favorite. He goes. He literally. Like, Uncle Chino. I I, I honestly Pacino? I have to say I didn't watch the whole wow. thing. I sort of cherry picked highlight wow. moments. I saw comes, the Ryan Gosling performance, which was fantastic. I can't. But anyway, go well, ahead. I want to definitely talk about that. You can't just yeah, but skip go to right the over. Thing. But you interrupted me first. Sorry, no, we're already there. So no, we'll go talk, to the Pacino thing. Nah, first. we'll just talk about how great no. Ryan Gosling was because he was awesome. I was blown away. I was, Everywhere else I'd be a ten. The slaps and the and the nonchalant like l- over like leisure and just I was so the presumptuous. Uh, uh, I loved it. I thought he was yeah. so good. I can't believe. I mean, I was a Ryan Gosling fan anyway, but now yes, I we're I, all Ryan Gosling I mean, fans. What I just thought it was so good. Yeah, he's great. And he's I thought great. it was almost like making fun of of the seriousness of the Oscars, which should be made fun of anyway. Uh, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous, and it should be made fun of. Regardless, there was a great moment. You, now go back to the Pacino moment. Ryan Gosling was fantastic. That was probably my favorite moment of the night. Really what, fun. What was the? I didn't see the Pacino. Oh, he one. just Pacino walks up on stage. <laughs> he's like, "Hello, I'm here today to announce Best Picture." He goes, <laughs> "It's in this envelope. I'm opening it." Wait, My eyes see Oppenheimer. Wait, that's it. He didn't read. He skipped over ten nominees. No, yeah, they're supposed to be the oh, nominees but, are but, right. Of but course, don't they do the best picture <clears throat> nominees throughout the entire show. Maybe, do they? He, yeah, maybe they don't. They, I didn't see it enti- see entirely. It so I don't know. I don't. I didn't see it. Either. I, I just the don't. I they just, do that. Don't they like periodically? We'll go. We'll just do like a, a, a two to... or three minute piece on one of the best pictures, and then. They'll have a category and then do another so. two or three minute piece on one of the best pictures Maybe. and then do another category. It right. seemed a bit That's what they've done. It. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's chair just imploded. For anybody, I, oh, just, I unexpectedly. For anybody that's listening and not watching us, Matt's chair, we have these little high chairs on hydraulics lost. and Matt just lost. literally became a little baby. My, my he air became a tiny little baby my... at the table. Um, Anyway, yeah, and and I, and I liked the John Cena magic. moment. I thought that was funny when he came out and was like, oh, Balls. That was really costumes Balls. are so take some big kahunas important. to come out. Yeah, that's yeah, funny. Like that. like, that's that was good. that was funny. And the guy looks great. My God, John Cena yeah. is like late forties or something. Yeah, he looks he's looking good. Great shape. Yep, great shape. Um, but overall, you know, I mean, I, I don't know, outside of our industry, did you see Oppenheimer? I don't know if anybody cares? Huh? Did you see Oppenheimer? Uh, I didn't see Oppenheimer. Oh. No, I know. I got to see it. You know, Ooh, I have kids. I have, I've had a newborn. You know, I, 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 I mean, what does that mean? You can't watch movies. I, you know, I honestly, have a newborn. Honestly, and by the way, your kid's a year and two months. Yeah, what are you talking about? There's a lot, yeah. You know, says the one who's never had any kids, and that's by choice. I've been, friend. I've been raising kids that since is, uh, hey, on, 2006. Oh, man. That is <laughs> in, by t- luck. <laughs> well, yeah. hey, you know what? Uh, and they're great, and I'll I love take my it. kids. But it does take you out <laughs> of things for a while. Like you know what it is like. Like if you're gonna go, all right. I'm gonna how how long is uh, how long is uh, Oppenheimer? Was it three hours? Or three something? hours, yeah, yeah. A little bit. So if you're gonna have three hours, like there are so many things that I actually need to get done. Bro, I, it's very hard for me. Get to Get up tomorrow three hours. at eight a.m. Yeah. and throw on oh, Oppenheimer. Eight a.m. Roll it right I in. Get up at four a.m. Roll it right into my day Flower Moon. Seven. Flower Moon. Oh my. And and hit it up with a good night feature of Barb and you know Barbie, right? So it's the Barbenheimer Moon. Wow, Woo! the Barbenheimer moon. And that's yep, that's you got a like huge a, day. You know what? Nine we're gonna, hours we're gonna be of traveling. Movies, eight hours of movies. We are going to be traveling. <clears throat> so and we are traveling a lot now. Yeah, we are. So, yeah. you know, pick one of the, the flights to pick it off. Yeah, I will. I will. Well, there's also, uh, you know, there's a lot of other stuff to do on those flights. But yes. Like, like sleep. Like look at the back of my eyelids. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> for the first time I get, you know, three to five hours where like I don't feel bad because I really can't do anything to help yeah. somebody. So I like just... Well, I guess I'll just sit here and, oh, I'll sleep for a minute, you know, or just even just close my eyes, you know, where I'm not like, who needs me? What do you need? You know, yeah. but it is, it, it, you look, it is, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it, I just don't have the three hours, but I, I will definitely watch it. I know I need to watch it. I always just go to like the escapism. So I'll watch like, I'll watch some sports or something if I have a couple hours before while I'm passing out at night, you know, mm-hmm. or catch up on the day or something, you know, yeah. but there's a lot of responsibility going on. Me too. I always go to like. 
girl with a dragon tattoo if I just want to chill out. <laughs> or like Andy, yeah. one of the, you know. <laughs> you are little David Fincher <clears throat> flick. Love Fincher. Little <clears throat> yeah. Beetlejuice if I want to sing along. Yeah. Yeah, so so going back to uh, the whole in sync of it all, what do you guys, because we were going to talk about this today. We had a lot of talking points to talk about this uh, before Fatone got stuck in traffic. But, um, you know, a lot of, lot of traffic. It was a yak crossing. A lot of yaks were crossing the road, and he didn't suspect it. I had an excuse, and this goes back to my one of my best friends ever, Dave, who's out there. He would always call it Joe Zach, okay, because... When I was really busy, you know, we'd have plans or something and something would come up and, you know, it was always complicated stuff coming up. So I would always say, and I felt bad just going, bro, it's not happening today. I'm totally flaking. I can't do it. You mean the truth. (laughs) Right. The truth. Because that's, why would you say that when you can lie? No. When you can just make up (laughs) something. you can embellish a story that makes it seem (laughs) that much more. Exactly. So we call it Jozak. Less intentional. His thing was that bro, the, the, the next thing, the next thing I'm going to say is there were yaks in the road and I couldn't get by around them and you know my car I can't get around. Have yaks. you ever I seen mean, a condor land in the middle of the 101 right, at Sherman Oaks? Right. Let me tell you the wingspan of those things. <laughs> the whole freeway was shut down for three hours. Oh man! Why this thing was chasing a little guinea pig? And in my it youth, was insane. In my youth, I was guilty of that. I I, I felt so bad that I I just I didn't want to go with I just can't make it, which honestly is the best thing to do, right? Nice quality, no, I can't make it. Yep. But so <clears throat> I would spin and and I would try to it was partial truth that with embellishment, you know, so he would call it Joe Zach. Anyway, he would always refer to the fact that, you know, what are you going to tell me next? There were yaks in the middle of the road and Joe can't make it, yada, 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 yada. And then he'd say, I love you like a cold sore. That's what he'd say. You know, <laughs> I swear to God. Uh, and he knows it. Dave Wags, I love you. Um, and you're right. And I've what I've improved rel- and I, strange... I don't do that anymore. I just give quality nose. Strange um, <laughs> friendship, you and Dave. No, man. he just kept me honest. He kept me. You know, he 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 called me on my shit, which he, a good friend will always do that. You know, um, so but, it always came from a good place. <laughs> but I would spin and embellish to try to make it sound more, you know, uh, impressive as to why I couldn't be there. You know, so my, I think I love, uh, in, I love, that, in that essence, I think uh, Fatone got stuck behind some yaks. But anyway. back to Dave Wags real quick. I love Wags, and I love my brother's buddy's story. I mean, he's my buddy too. But I, so I love Wags' story of how Joe guilts people into eating bad food with him. <laughs> He Do does. It, he oh, does it amazingly. But the way it's so true. Maybe that's why I find it so comical. But like, if you're like, "Come on, buddy, eat it. Eat it. No, just have one. No, have this M M&M. and M." You're like, "No, dude, I'm good. I don't. And I, I'll even eat it. I just don't want it right now." But Joe, he can't handle eating like the bad food alone. So he needs you to to embark on this journey. I gotta. We gotta have Dave on to tell the story and do it justice. It is so funny. He'll yeah. even go as far as like I've seen Joe put put like Snickers in Dave's mouth. <laughs> like you will not take no for an you answer. You want this? No, eat it. Yeah. Eat it. I know. I know, because when I, you know, everything in moderation. He also calls you the snack Nazi. The snack Nazi, he does. Yeah. Because I love snacks. Joe is, it's so weird. You're so healthy and you have a plethora of food, but if you go into his, if you go to try to take some, a snack from Joe's house, (laughs) he's very upset. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Even if it's like a chip. Uh, You're like, Joe, there's three bags of chips in here. Two of them aren't opened. One of them is, I mean, all the same, a chip. Yeah. He's go for the granola on the bottom shelf. Sad. Like the crummy one. (laughs) He's like, yeah, that's the one. It's delicious. (laughs) You love it. And you're like, True. Joe, this is this is crap. This yeah. is not even the you got Erewhon trail mix that looks glorious, and then you have like this like, you know, Quaker cr- Oats. Quaker Oat crumb Good stuff. Like <laughs> I don't even know what the, it looks like the it looks like the leftovers of like four other gas station I mix trail them. mixes just thrown I into mix a them. container. I mix them. Maybe yeah. there's even like a half of a nut with an obvious bite mark out of it. I'm like, what I may have tried it. What is this regurgitated it. garbage hey, that you're asking? Why are we to this eat? is not bashing on me day? What is this? Yeah, right. We're supposed to talk about you know, in sync well, and their, their reunion. Con- one for Tone or one Joey for the other Joey. You're such a putz. We just oh my swap gosh. out the Joey's. I'm you, I don't appreciate Let's it. Let's just bash Joey Day. Sure, fine. That's all good. You know what? I can handle it. Fine. Just bash No, I mean, it, but you know, he's very, everything else is very giving. Most of my closets are hand me downs from Joe's or just rejects. I call them handy downs. <laughs> in reality, they're rejects. No, I wouldn't go dead in this, Andy. Exactly. <laughs> wow, this is a great coat. This is a hell of a jacket, oh, Joe. You know what? This thing sucks. Andy will love exactly. It. No, yeah. no, no, no. That's not. That's not true. For the longest time, though, you were you were really into like extra extra smalls. And well, so yeah, the same thing with the food. He you would, would try, buy you. You would try. Yeah, he would try to <laughs> get. He us, bought it for himself. And he was Andy, like, I can't wear this. I'm going to give it to Andy. Yeah, to squeeze or in he would he would like want to buy extra it. smalls, yeah. and it would be very uncomfortable. Joe would be like, Oh my god, that looks amazing. But we'd be so uncomfortable. Like, Joe, like, I can't. I'm literally I, ripping my, this I jacket. Can't move my arm. 
You know, it looks great on you. It you don't fit need me. to move them. You don't need to move those arms. Well, I think because he had this image of being like the older brother, and if it fit him, he was like, oh, it's got to fit them. They're my little brothers. Yep, my right. little baby brother. Yeah, it's your little no, I think babies. He was if they were, if it was too tight yeah. on him. Uh, and they would have to fit his baby brothers. Little baby brothers. <laughs> With neither of them. Like, I literally can't even put my arms down in some of the jackets. Uh, well, I, you're the like, broadest of all of us, so that's that's weird, because you are my baby brother. But at so, any rate, uh, well, what about Andy? If we're going to talk about clothes, Andy buys, he buys <laughs> three sizes. Let's not talk yes. about this. Because he's like, I need that hoodie in, a, in one that fits nice. One that there's a little loose. There's reasoning. And one for me to wear no, in the morning. There's reasoning it's behind super all Super baggy, and I want to be really comfortable. Yeah, so you true. go in, and I'm like, which one is this? He's Some like, well, days. that's the medium. <laughs> I'm like, you are. <laughs> He's got leather jackets <laughs> in three sizes. Shut up, dude. Yeah. And Some days I feel this bloated. This one I layer. Yeah. This one I want to wear Some this coat and put something <laughs> thick under it. I'm like, it's you are true. the worst. I dude. find something I like, and I just get it in, you know, yeah. a couple different versions of it. No, it's not versions, sizes. sizes. No, <laughs> yes, that's it's the too. same color. I do have no. <laughs> not even different colors. <laughs> there, I have a couple yes. of oh, my favorite funny. jackets in multiple sizes, <laughs> and I have that is a <laughs> something <laughs> else, no, dude. They fit differently, the bro. Part, the best part is, is that he, he came in one time and he was like, he wanted to get this pair of boots. <laughs> He was like, "Yeah, oh God, I remember those Should boots. I get him in? He a, annoyed everybody a for nine, weeks. A nine and a half or a 10. I'm like, and what size shoe do you normally wear? Well, I mean, that's, that's up for the base. They were expensive boots. I didn't want to have to like <laughs> both sizes. <laughs> in yeah, but wait, shoes. I and I was like, he's walking to the house and went for a week before he wanted to return one. I now, did return one. What's weird is, and I remember this. What's weird is if you can't see us if you're just listening, but he would like saunter around, just yeah, sort of weirdly shift the weight around, shifting you know? his weight. Now what's weird is though, <laughs> well, I mean, these really both feel good. <laughs> and I remember you yeah. not saying, then just get the one that feels better. Yeah. they feel the same. They do. Then it doesn't matter which one you get. <laughs> yeah. No, it does. You vacillated over this for weeks, bro. Yeah, it was a big, big you know, decision. Remember, it got down to the 30 day return policy. I, I gotta make a decision. You've had them for were 20 very days. Boots. You haven't decided. <laughs> oh, <worn> <laughs> <laughs> the soles look like he went hiking. Only on the... one though, because oh, I'm only I'm not wearing one shoe. Right, on both sides. Yeah, it's only it's like the left one. Of the, yeah, that's funny. I uh, mean, this one. How does it look with the jeans? Well, that's uh. the thing. Like, I don't like, like. I don't want my feet to look like clown feet, right? But Speaking then of shoes. I gave you those sneakers. Yeah, yeah, you did. So I don't want them to look great. like you did. These yes. are Hirachis. Honestly, these don't fit though. They don't. They're fit. too like my toes. I have very wide bunch feet up in the front. I know. And I and Mike I have, used to do that to me too. And I have some uh, of them. Some of them do. Yeah. Also, since I'm working out a lot too, so my feet are turning into like grizzly feet. <laughs> what? They are. Put that on your uh, raya. I can climb walls. <laughs> grizzly feet. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. They're not grizzly feet, First but one, I you do. You said have... I've been working out a lot, and you're holding your foot. You're like your feet, dude. I've been these feet out climbing man. walls and ropes and shit. Oh you yeah, use your yeah. You get those, a lot, those, man. those like. Those no, like you don't get anything like that. Talons. He gets, you know, he's got peaks on his toes. You're like muscle on his biceps. <laughs> That's got, ridiculous. When he no, flexes his toes, but I do little, have like a little head. I do have them. calluses on the bottom of my feet and on my hands now that are that are pretty nasty. But I need them. Yeah, no, you need the calluses on so your hands. So that's what I mean. And like, and not like, like they're not excessive. I, I use a pumice stone now. Like every that day. scene in Dumb and Dumber, you know, when they have to come in with those, <laughs> with those saws, no. those hand no. saws and trim the toes. No. No, yeah, no, that's no. what Andy's anyway, got going but, on. But yeah, I got more. I, but my, I will, I do have a great jean collection and I do have jeans that I don't wear, like, mold, like backup pairs. I know you do. Because mm. I shred them. Yeah, he does shred them. Andy does rip a jeans. It has been noticed on our. On our IG account. Yeah, when that like, hole happened Andy... in that video. That's I know. Funny. People were commenting about it for weeks. Yeah, like, he's got a hole in his pants. I wonder how I got it. Maybe I was <clears throat> jumping around like a moron with you guys, and that's how I split well, You were the pants. one jumping. You always are jump very, you jump with a lot of, a lot of gusto. Gusto, you know? yeah. Yeah, even that, even that, uh, even that pool video that we did when you're shaking around, you had to be, of course, you had to be naked because you're always taking your clothes off. You and John Cena, that's where I saw that first. I remember the pool, he's in the front, he's gyrating, and I think yeah. he threw a rib out in that in that one, but he was he did it for the really? betterment of the- No. Oh. <clears throat> he was in a lot of pain. He was in a lot of pain. I don't think I was in any pain <laughs> you after were that a lot of, You were in a lot this of pain. This is fabricated, but the, the hole in the pants is real. <clears throat> that's real. Everybody and, saw that. And that I did rip in that video. Yeah. So what do you guys think about uh, what do you guys think about this? Because we had Donnie Wahlberg on, right? And and new kids have been on tour and they've been crushing it. And Joe's it. got the biggest man crush on Donnie Wahlberg. No, I no, I no, I do not. You brought I, him up multiple times this I'm, episode. I'm and he was on a couple weeks ago by now. I'm like, segueing into. It's been a few weeks. Yeah, because I have prepared questions. And, and you're I, like, if you haven't seen that I can't episode, deviate go from check my out the Donnie questions. Wahlberg episode because he's a hell of a guy. Uh, I had. I mean, he is. We love Donnie. Don't get me wrong. I love Donnie too. But you're bringing him up a lot. 
even right. off camera. Like this morning when you called me. That's so not true. When bro. you called, you're so weird. That's now he's. You called me this morning and he was like, dude. I'm just thinking, you know, I woke up and I was thinking what Donnie told me. And I was like, wait, from the pod? You were like, yeah, yeah. I tell it to myself every day. Because he called me and he was like, really? I woke up today and I was just thinking, what's Donnie doing right now? <laughs> this is all lies. Yeah, yeah. it's lies. This is nothing but Joe Zach really right now. A lot of Joe Zach. And then going he goes, he he like, I was trying to send Donnie this voice memo for, for this, <laughs> but I realized I don't have his number. Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely do have his number. We text back and forth all These the texts aren't working. I don't know why they're not going through. <laughs> Why is it just green? Are you getting these? Yeah. Hello? Oh, no, man. actually, I'm just kidding. Joe does have Donnie's number. And Thanks. they are text buddies. Yes. Listen. When we have to, when we, when when we had to stalk is, Donnie to get him on the pod. I love the fact. Because he did kind of the same thing, too. Uh, he, he said did. he wanted to be on the pod, but he's, he's busy. these boy banders. No. Yeah. No, well, he's busy. But, you know, I will say Donnie, like, reached out. He's like, guys, I love the pod. And then I begged him to be on it. And then he was busy. He was on a cruise, but he wasn't answering me. So then I... He was on a cruise I performing. performing. It, it was, was his the way cruise. You made that sound. It was like yeah, he, saw he was busy. He was on a cruise. No, it was his like it was like the it was he was a working cruise. <laughs> the Royal Caribbean. Yeah, no, he wasn't just chilling on a yeah, cruise. Yeah, yeah. And so then I then I passed along at the water slide. I passed along his number to Joe and and because I knew Joe would I knew Joe would I would sick Joe on him and it would happen. Yeah. But then then Joe you know kind of fell for Donnie and then it became a thing. You're really that's very weird. But and, and now I is, and yeah I always respect guys that never lose the hustle, right? And he's just pound away True. for years and years and he's refused to to give in to the fact that, you know, that 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 new kids cuz he's had a lot of success obviously as an actor and everything, but that new kids, you know, weren't relevant and that their fans wouldn't support them and when they went back out, he was like, "No, we're getting the band together. We're keeping us together. We're going out on tour and we're going to make this work. We're going to release new music. We're not washed up. We're still we still Is there anything else you want to go into more detail about no. this, bro? And I really like that. He's so, literally Proving my point. No, and I like that. So it always impresses but me. I like and it I think too. it paved the way for Backstreet Boys to get back together and it paved the way for 98 Degrees to get back together. And now in sync. Exactly. Fatone! Yes. Where are you, man? Fatone. Um, so, you know, and it's going to be very interesting because I know that, look, there was people were so excited about them getting back together, obviously, because they were kind of like the last ones to do it. And they haven't officially done it yet, but clearly with. The Trolls song and this song on JT's record, I believe JT will be on tour first. And then I would wager, and I'm not a betting man, but I would wager that NSYNC will then go on tour next. And mm. I would wager that that will actually be even more anticipated than Justin Timberlake's current tour. I, even though that's anticipated. I, I think it'll even be more anticipated just because people would really be excited to see those guys together like they were with New Kids and like they were with Backstreet. You I know? think so, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. <clears throat> um, but what do you think of Justin's new record? Do you like it? I haven't heard any of it. I like that one song. Yeah. Selfish is I legitimately yeah. have not heard a single thing. I haven't heard anything thing. else. Okay, well, you got to listen to it. You know, you got to listen to it. Yeah. But I will. Yeah. It's pretty good. <clears throat> I mean, the second song he released, I, I, you know, that was okay. But Selfish was good. I heard, yeah, I heard, I, I heard it kind of drowned on the charts. <laughs> but um bum This single is called Drown. <laughs> Oh, Andy, look at that. Yep, that was right here. I had to get that joke. Like, I feel like you should write a song and call it number one. Number one. What's that song? Number one? Oh, yeah. Is it? It is. Yeah. Right? You can just have a Big double. hit. Big hit. Oh, my God. Number this song's one. called Big Hit. We should do that. I know. We should do that. Speaking of it's which, like the hack. that little thing that you pulled out, you know, sort of in Out of the rabbit, out of the hat. Yeah, when we were just sort of jamming. Yet again. That, people have responded Another to that. little gem. Yeah, yeah that woo-hoo-hoo. Another gem. You send me, baby. You know? I mean, what that I people have really res responded to that. So we might need to record that one. I know what? that we have the... Um, what can I say? You know, we have the the uh, single for the pod song that uh, is so almost good. ready for its official unveiling. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and I hope people respond to that, too. Look, music is... Music is such the like. fabric of our lives, you know? Andy's looking at himself Dude, my right hair now is out phone. of control. Why don't you guys tell me? Um, like, Andy, I don't even know what to do with myself. <laughs> It looks. I look like who's that beautiful guy that you recently head, passed away headband. from? Can you believe it? Take your the, headband off and re. Who's the beautiful? Do it. Who's the beautiful guy from uh, the comedian, the really funny comedian that passed away? Richard Lewis. I feel like I look like Richard Lewis. Oh, here's the uh, who's the really beautiful guy. I'm in person, like soul. Beautiful because he passed guy? away. I don't, I don't mean know if Richard Lewis. He's funny as hell. I don't know if he'd ever be considered beautiful. <laughs> I didn't mean it's beyond <laughs> physicality. Who's that beautiful guy? <laughs> It's what are you talking? Ryan Gosling? What guy? No. Richard Lewis? <laughs> I mean, he's so funny. He was so funny. And honestly, like, 
Yes, rest in peace, dude, because you were awesome. I actually loved Richard Lee. Yeah, he was so funny. So many memories. Men in tights. Oh, right, watching him. Forget oh, it, dude. Robin there it men, is, is what it is. Robin Hood Men in Tights. Forget was, it. I'm letting it go. All right. Robin Hood Men in Tights, though, was what a we're men. fabulous. We're, we're men, men in tights. tights. Yes. If you have never seen Jeez, Robin Hood Men in Tights, so good. It is so funny. And Richard Lewis was really funny in that. Unbelievable. Yes, he was. He was. Uh, Latrine. <laughs> so good. <laughs> you gotta watch yeah, it's it. It's really amazing, really. Oh, Tracy the Ullman's witch, in Oh, it. my God. The witch of it all. Tracy Ullman, <laughs> Carrie Elways. I oh, mean, gosh. It was great. It was it really, really good. Was. It was really funny. It was a good movie. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, anyway, this is the beautiful guy. All right, Richard Lewis. <laughs> the beautiful yes, your Richard hair Lewis. does look a little Richard Lewis. He always had that hair. Yes. Um, it was, yeah. I mean, no matter what, you know, thick or thin. He always he kind of looked like, too, that he was, like, kind of shocked. He yeah, like, like, his... like, like he just walked around a corner and ran into him. Yeah, 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 he did. It's true. He did. He did have that look. Yeah. Have you guys been enjoying this season of Curb Your Enthusiasm? Boy, I haven't though. watched it yet. I've, I've started to rewatch every episode oh, and man. get work my way back up to it. Dude, it is. So yeah. I'm really, I'm dealing with Mocha Joe right now. Oh my gosh. Rewatching Mocha Joe. He may or may not make a comeback in the new season. Oh my God. Yeah. Anyway, it's, uh, it's just brilliant. I, I, again, I love seeing, you know, people that just still do it you know like larry david has oh, no reason to do it he's proven all he needs to prove he loves it but he, he loves it and he's and still gets, so damn yeah, and he funny. gets going to his friends he's 76 years old unbelievable you know i i know there's a lot of and, and you know there's this there's this talk obviously and and, des, and deservedly so in our in our zeitgeist now and in, in popular vernacular about age and what's too old and not too old you know the whole political office and all these things you're never and too age old, really is a number it's all about it is a number in my opinion i think it is all about you know whether and how you decline at that age. Because yeah. you look at somebody like Larry David, 76 years old. I mean, this the guy has not lost a tack. step. Yeah, yeah, man, still, you look at our grandfather at 88 years old. Yeah, you you got to rewatch, yeah, you gotta rewatch some of those first episodes of Curb. Not only are they so funny, but they look so terrible. Like, my God, was how, you got to watch the transformation of... Oh, yeah. Holy cow. Right. Like, just... Right. I, what has happened since that show has yeah. started yeah. to where it is now, It is. Yeah. it looks like it was shot on, like, a home video camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It oh, literally. Yeah. The original one. It's well, like four, four even twenty. I don't I think even know this what is it like was. Like the 11th or 12th season. Seven twenty. I don't and even. And this is its like, final season, which mm-hmm. is really sad. I hate that, but everything has to come to an end, I guess. But they should do a movie. They've been doing it over twenty-two years. So if you think That's about incredible. that, the show's been yeah on and off the air for right. Isn't that isn't that right, Sam? Holy. I'm throwing it to our know everything guy over here. He knows everything. But yeah. So if you think about that. That's why it, I mean, yes, it was wow. not even shot. It, they never intended it to be shot really quality because it was always supposed to feel like behind yeah, the scenes. Yeah, but it, dude, it, it's so It's taken bad. a life of its own, but it, right. It's almost but unwatchable. Also you have, like, you're you like, have, wait a minute, this is. You have it's like, ten, Oh my God, you gotta watch. It's like watching the first season of Survivor. You're like, what is this terrible right. shit? Right. Oh, interesting. But degraded footage. Years Where do they ago, find yeah. this? What can? Seasons over, so I think it's 11 film, seasons. They crack this open. Yeah. 11 or 11 or 12. I mean, it's really but, bad. Wow. But it is amazing and it's so funny. I guess cuz it was so bad. Good. It was like old it was like old school digital and like old school film still looks good. It's yeah. like magical cuz it's dimensions right. and right. stuff, but old school digital just looks like garbage. Yeah. Really bad. yeah. And it's found its place. I mean, they've they've grown. It's great. They've grown into it. Oh yeah, and, and this uh, but I mean, you could see like the style, the tone, a lot of I mean, it's very, you know, I mean, I it's very all it, it elements of the office, elements wow. of modern family. Like I feel like it all kind of came like a lot of that I mean, anyway. I don't Larry, think he's great. what to expect. But Curb Larry's is awesome. Amazing. Yeah, and Curb is amazing. So I don't want, you know, <sighs> it is crazy to think it's over because that's, boy, guys, sucks. That really, that really sucks. Can't believe we got, we got stood up. Uh, I, it's really amazing. You know, it's one of I'm those things where it. you're, where you're like sitting at the dinner table, I'm you know, you're sitting it. at the restaurant table, you know, and you're like, wow. Um, yeah, they're going to, they're going to be here. And the waiter's like, you want to order a drink? No, no, I'm going to wait. They're going to uh, be here. And then you're and like, then you know what? It, you know what? I'm going to order a drink. I'm going to order because I just want to get it going. I want to get it going. I'm going to take then, it. Uh, can I take my entree to go? No, and then it's like, hey, listen, the kitchen's closing. So Aww. if you want to get your order in, you got to get it in. So, yep, yep. Yeah, and uh, it does feel it like that. Matt, you haven't really said anything. You're just sitting here yawning. So, uh, Well, he was expecting for Tone to do all the talking. <laughs> no, I was all jazzed. I was all jazzed. He had a lot of questions. I know Matt had a lot of questions, right? Yeah, I had some questions for him. But, uh, oh, God. Well... Um, Andy, I throw to you. Yeah, yeah. Have you guys seen those um, those uh, news anchor things, like the the news anchor um, Gifts. mess ups? Yeah, oh, those are great. My, oh I was going to talk about the news headline of the of a couple weeks ago. This man, there were worms found in this man's brain from eating bacon. What? Yeah, guy got worms in his brain. Wait a minute. 
What kind of bacon was he eating? Like Some raw really, bacon? I think it was undercooked. We well, you know how bacon... Well, pork, isn't it... It's dangerous to eat it. Wait, can you pork. pour... Oh, yeah. Is it true that you like pour soda on pork and you sometimes it'll drive the worms out of the pork? I'm sure something like that is... There's, is, there's is something, that true? There's something here. I think you you pour Coca-Cola on raw <laughs> pork and you can... It'll, it can... Like, sometimes it can, it can draw the Coca-Cola? parasites out of... Yeah, check this out. Google that, Joe. Stop. What are you doing? You're I'm re- Googling it. You're reading text messages. I could see your text conversation from here. Mm. <laughs> You're not Googling it. I'll Google yes. it. Yes. What is it? Trichomyosis? What is it? Trick? Trichomyosis? So yeah. it says it's a myth. Soda. Hmm. But it is, a, at least it's like actually a myth. Like no, I, pork is, pork being dirty is not a myth. That's real. No, no. I know, but pouring Coca-Cola on soda to, to draw parasites oh, yeah, and yeah. worms. Uh, worms and pork. It says it's an urban legend. There's a YouTube video of it. I'm going to watch it on mute just to see. Oh my god! <clears throat> uh, oh, so dude, uh, what I'm watching on YouTube is horrifying. Whoa, bro! My phone all, doesn't work. You never want to watch anything How about on YouTube. this. Oh it's my all god! Horrifying. It's all except except the Broly Love Pod that you want to watch on YouTube. So I misspoke. <laughs> no, but honestly, I feel like looking things up on the internet and watching things. Honestly, man, it sends me into a tailspin. I go on a deep dive, and I'm just in a uh, I'm in a dark place for hours. That's really freaky. Yeah, it's well, it's wild. I want. I, I, we should probably try the pork Coca Cola experiment because what I just saw on YouTube was. But they said it's a myth. They said you can't do that. Not right? according to YouTube. What other myths? There's so many myths out there. You know. Um, honestly, we're reaching. We're what we're reaching for the myths. Yeah. Why is that? It just feels like we're reaching. Reaching, what are you talking about? We're reaching, reaching out far and wide into the ether <laughs> to pull something interesting <laughs> onto the table. Um, Matt, you got something for God's sakes, man. Help us. Uh, you know, uh, it's funny because, um, because we were gonna have Fatone on today, <laughs> but uh, but you know what's you know what's interesting is that uh, is that we ran out of time. Who else has been stood up out there? We we, we ran out of time. Send so us your stories. Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Stand out of time. I wonder, you know, what's funny is I would love when he actually comes on the show. Um, which he will, which he will. Oh, he will. He will. Trust me. Um, he will. If he wants to go back out on tour with NSYNC, he will. <laughs> I, I wish next, um, like, when we actually get him on the show, he's just in his bathrobe and he looks like he's got a, <laughs> a black hood. Yeah. We pull it off. He doesn't yeah. know where he is. We've yeah. obviously kidnapped right. him from I his know. house. Hey, where am I? <laughs> Welcome to the pod, the, baby. The lights turn on. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> In the studio, yep, really yep. bright. You're going to answer <sighs> every single question we have. You've been taken by the Lawrence Brothers. Yeah, yeah. Joey Lawrence and the Lawrence Brothers. Uh, yeah, you've been taken by Joey Lawrence <laughs> and the Lawrence Brothers. <laughs> taken by Joey Lawrence and the Lawrence Brothers. Yeah. You know, I'm trying to research this darn pork thing, and it's just the internet's not working from my phone. I don't know why. Wow. Okay. Matt had a meltdown a few... Uh, was it yesterday about the phone? Did he, he did the did really he, bad. Did he say oh, his yeah. famous phrase? He did. Truly really bad, yeah, man. Truly really bad, yeah, guys. Did. What happened? Hey, guys. Bad. Was really bad. I'm sure it he was. was really he was bad. researching illegal stuff online and wanted no, to scramble his no no, no legal no. stuff. He wanted online. to scramble. No his no no no. When you're in hotels and stuff, VPN. and you hook up your um your laptop or your cell phone to not just the hotel internet, but sometimes you, you these these systems where you scan the QR code to uh, cast scan your the QR code. Yeah, on the you know for the to cast your entertainment oh, yeah. onto the TV. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The problem with that is, is that if you do online banking or any of these things, you have any of your finances on your phone, um, it really opens you up. Basically, it's it's you, you take the chance if somebody is in that hotel, or somebody decided to drive to that hotel and sit in the lobby and open up a laptop and find you, they could literally take everything off your phone like that. Right. Just like that. So I was trying to find this uh, to way to block my my VPN, which is the um, <clears throat> just basically you know shows where your phone is, what your phone is doing, what it's attached to, all these type of things, and um, oh. and it, and it scrambled my iPhone, and uh, I had to go get it all fixed. And I don't know if that's still what's going on, but that's what that's what Andy is talking about. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So I got it, but it's it's scary, you know, because when you you know, and not to mention these QR codes, sometimes even hackers can put their own QR code, whether it's a sticker over the one that you see. So like when you go to the right. menu, or you go right. and they literally have control over your phone. So it's, did you hear this, that they're, that, that, that thieves are stealing cars now because they have those, that, that, that thing that can read the, oh yeah, 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 key yeah. Fob. yeah. And yeah, if it's not fob. behind some sort of wall, like if it's just, for instance, there was a, um, 
I was talking, believe it or not, I I, I have this, um, a, a buddy of mine gets his cars washed religiously, right? And he said that his, the guy that came to his house to wash his cars, mm-hmm. that he said several of his clients' cars stolen because they had their key sitting in like on the table. If it's in an aluminum dish, they can't do it, like a metal dish or something mm-hmm. like that. But if it's just sitting on, a, they had it on like the coffee table by the front door and the window was there. And the guys, they drive up and they just start like scrolling the front of your house. And if they pick up the signal, they can literally I got steal great. it and then unlock your car and start it up and take it. I like they drove great, it right off their front. Is that, I, got I guess that's real. I got a great story for you. It is okay, real. what is it? I had, uh, I was, I went on a hike. Yeah. Wow. And I lost, I had you my. stop right there. This yeah, I went on a hike. really going to really, and really tank. Thank you for the really low pod. <laughs> went on a really long hike. Yeah. And then. <laughs> And? So I went on a hike and I yes. lost my keys. Okay. I had my keys with me. That's um, where you stop. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Matt. Do the, do, the, do the cricket. I don't think I can do the cricket. Anyway, so I went on a hike, <laughs> lost my keys. Hike was uh, at my house. Uh, like, and you I- Hike in your house? Yeah, I went on a hike around the house. How big is your house? It's huge. <laughs> 50,000 square feet. No, I uh, went on a hike in, uh, out my back, the, like the neighborhood. Your backyard? <laughs> How big is your backyard, Andy? <laughs> got lost back there once. <laughs> ah, when I'm not hiking I did, in my house, I was on, in my yard. I was, I was on a lot of drugs. No, I'm just right. kidding. I was okay. not. I was no, not. And no, of course not. I went on a hike in the neighborhood. In the wilderness? In the wilderness. Okay. And I- uh, I lost my keys, and then about two weeks later, I woke up early to go to work, and um, my truck was gone. No. Yeah. I had I remember this. no truck, and I was like, wait, it was one of those moments where you're like, wait, where did I park my car? And then- I always park it on Yeah, I was like, I always, I always park, park it in front right of my house. Here, and I was like, wait, did I- That's weird. <laughs> exactly. It should be right here in front Literally. of where I live. Literally. Yeah. And I was like, wait, what's going on? And then- um, I'm freaking out, and so I called the cops, and I'm like, I think my truck's stolen. And then uh, they're like, Yeah, this. Ha- I mean, this happens. I'm sorry, blah blah blah. And then uh, I get a, I, I report a, a, a police report, and then I get a call a, a couple hours later from a random number, and the guy, this guy goes, Hey man, I've, I, we, I have your truck. It's parked outside of our business on the street. It's just open, and um. I, I I thought maybe he was like, well, you you have my truck. Like, what did you steal it? Like, what yeah. do you want? Like, yeah, yeah. What, what you want for my, my truck? Like, yeah, right, like, right, what right. do you? What can I? What, what, are you Just holding bring those? Uh, yeah, exactly. Are you yeah. holding my truck ransom? Just bring those bitcoins. Exactly. And we'll be good to go. Like, what? Strangest. Yeah. You steal my truck. I'm like, what is going on? Right, right. And he's like, no, man. I'm like, I found your truck. He's like, it's literally just parked outside of my business. Like, I thought. Anyway, so he gives me the address, and my truck is not. It's less than two miles away from the house, and it's just parked on the side of the road. And I look in the back, and I had a bunch of props from this ta- like t- tactical gear from a mo- movie set, like a ton of tactical gear, like bullets oh. and bullet fake bulletproof vests and holsters and all this like FBI stuff. And that what the conclusion was drawn that the that the robbers stole the truck, and then they looked in the back seat and they thought they had stole it like the Punisher's car. <laughs> it was all this crazy. Yeah. It's like a chainsaw yeah. and axe. I mean, like I will the, come for the you. The craziest stuff. Yeah, Can you um, imagine. Oh, Thousands of rounds of fake the bullets. Car. Yeah. Check what's in. Check what's yeah. in the back. Police vests and like tactical gear. Yeah. Get out of the car. Yeah. So they got scared and they literally just parked the car. They're like, forget this, man. Oh so I went and got God. my truck back. Wow. Yeah. And you think they found your keys? I know. Yeah. Because I, 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 yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. You like drove around the neighborhood going, yeah. Dick, dick, dick. Wow. Yeah. It could have been kids. I don't even know. But, right. But it was enough. It was, yeah, whoever they I were. I love you were... telling the cops, like, this is where I put it. Take like yeah. your glasses. Like, anybody see my glasses? I know yeah. I always put my glasses yeah. right yeah. here. Yeah. Well, that's what I said. I was like, I don't, I walk outside to go to work and my truck's There's gone. no way I didn't park it here because I live here. You know. So I wouldn't have not parked th- it This is I the live. interesting thing with, with it's car it's thieves. Weird. Guys is, are looking at them like, mm-hmm. all they have to do is drive to the other county. Once you cross jurisdiction lines, it becomes another police force's jurisdiction and it Nobody takes talks. time. Well, it just takes time to re-report the crime and have them pick it up. So if you, if like, a, if you steal a car, all you got to do is just drive across. Why are we giving tips like that away on the show? That's it's not good. Idea. There's a car, car, car theft or so I've been skyrocketing told. in this country. They're all over the place. I Cars mean, are getting jacked left and right in cities. I, know. I was watching one of those crime, uh, you know, specials and yeah. up until like, I want to say the late eighties, that was true for everything. Like, there was a homicide in one county, and there was a homicide. Right. They never right. talked. Right. Well, yeah, they, they didn't couldn't. have a system. Like, right. They would have to fax things. You'd have a, a murderer living in a county, yeah. two counties over from the yeah. other county. 
And they didn't know. Where is this guy? Yeah, yeah. 30 kills. Right. Yeah. Isn't that wild? That is yeah. wild. Think about that. I know. Well, after until 9-11, oh, until 9-11, uh, even our national security departments weren't really like symbiotic was, and talking it, it to each other, right? It was the Wild right? West. I don't mm -hmm. know how anything, I don't know how, how anything was right. solved back in the day. Right. It was scary. It is. It is. Wild. It is. Well, even before like DNA testing and- all that stuff. Sciences. Wow. I mean, there's so much. I mean, it is just, it is, it is catapulted. So you found the car, what, two two days later? No, that, oh, that like a couple hours later. Yeah. Like they stole it that night. Oh my God. Drove it down the street. Found ah, the stuff. Yeah. Freaked abort, out. Abort this Left. mission. Abort. Yep. And then like eight hours, like, you know, six, eight hours later, I was Dude, back. That in the truck. is so funny. I later sold that. I got rid of it because I didn't want to, I, I was, I thought that if it was somebody in the neighborhood, then yeah. they like see me driving around. I had this extra, and I had to pay for new key fobs, which are outrageously expensive why to have a so new, expensive? like twelve hundred dollars. Like, like, why do they make the fob? to repo? Uh, what to like, reprogram a fob? fob? I don't know. Are you kidding? Twelve hundred dollars? Well, most cars don't even have wow. anything to stick in anymore. Wow. Just a button. Yeah. Bleep. Yep. Yep. That's anyway, true. Yeah, it's really weird. What do we do? Like, if that doesn't work, like, what do you do if that doesn't work? We've created so much extra crap that if it doesn't work. We're screwed, you know? Like, honestly, like, I'm all about the internet and all these things, but, you know, like, Spectrum or whatever carrier you have, like, if that goes out, you're not using anything. No. I it's know. horrible. That's why I'm old school, man. Still have a direct TV. You still have an old well. satellite. I do. As well. No, you don't. As well, it's I do. Funny. You have the old antennas. You're trying no, to catch weird signals. No, I don't have the old antennas, signals. but I still have a dish hey guys, because, and I'll can. tell you something. Oh, my God. I'll tell you something right still now. still all those signals out there. There are. Really? For the yeah. local channels. What are they broadcasting like, on them? They're your local yeah, affiliates local and channels. stuff. Yeah. But I'll tell you, I always feel like, I always feel like such, like, a cha I'm, I'm always so proud of myself, like, when the internet goes out, right? And everyone's like, oh, man, I can't believe six hours. What kind of an outage is that? I'll be like... I know, unfortunately, but I have DirecTV as well. So yeah, I get to, nice. you know, I have a very base package, but I still have like the stuff so you can, you know, see what's going on. And it, it always makes me feel good when the internet goes out because I feel <laughs> like we've become dependent <laughs> on this grid so much. Everything now. They want, everything. Now, now they want like all cars on it too. I mean, everything. Yeah. So like, dude, if something goes down, like nothing's going to work. Literally nothing yeah. except like old school combustible engine cars with keys. And gold. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go get it. <laughs> <laughs> if you... <laughs> That's one of our favorite sayings. Uh, there's two <laughs> things in this life. That's it. That's all you, that's all you said. Yeah. That's one of our favorite yeah, sayings. Yeah, that's one of our favorite sayings. Gold, let's go get it. <laughs> <laughs> so inspirational and deep. City Slickers 2. Okay. <laughs> right? Keeps getting better right? and better. Was it called the chase for Curly's gold or something like yeah, that? Or the so quest good. for Cur Curly's gold? Yeah. Anyway. Curly's dead. No, Curly is, uh, it was, anyway, so he, he says, uh, no, the, his brother. Yeah, I know. Curly's dead. Right, who's his brother? Duke. Duke. Duke, Duke comes back. Right, Duke Jack comes Palance back. Jack is Duke. He plays, the same actor plays... plays Duke, his twin brother. His twin brother. But Curly's he's dead. dead. Right, right. So you know, Curly was wrong, you know. Yeah. There's two things. Yeah. Whatever the hell this is. is. And gold. Let's go Let's get go. it. <laughs> it's so Jack good. Jack Palance. If you've never seen City Slickers oh 1 my and 2, God. really awesome movies. Right? Really awesome oh, yeah. movies. Yeah, fun. What? Unbelievable. Oh, my God. As One was... I mean, one two was, was great too, genius. but one was really genius. Good. You know, it's so funny. Well, it makes you cry. It actually makes you cry. It does. Movie. It's so good. It does. Billy Crystal in his prime. Billy. I mean, Billy, it Billy. was just. Remember when didn't we work? We were going to do a movie with Billy Crystal. Remember we did the table read. Yes. What was that? Um, I just remember it was like this epic table read for Sound of Music or Music, music Man. Man. The Music Man. I had to sing a song. We all did. It was a musical. Yeah. <laughs> what was that song I sang? I mean, you know, it's weird. Joey had to sing. Oh my Everybody God. did, Andy. It was called Time the out. Music Man. Time out. All right. Look what, what's above is you. For, is Fatone here? No. Oh, what is it? Remember when I was like, I know I have another one somewhere. Oh, oh my God. My, my Super Bowl Championship Eagles hat is hanging up in the studio, and I couldn't find it, and I was freaking out. That's right. And I had to break out an, another one that I have, because I have multiple <laughs> versions again. Slightly bigger. <laughs> Slightly <laughs> Depending on whether I wear something under it or not. What do you mean? If I want to wear it's a do-rag or, or a bandana underneath it, I, I need volumize a, a large hair, flex Joe, fit I hat. Slightly yeah, after, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. When I have long hair, I need a I need a seven and a half. When I have oh short God. hair, I need a seven. When I use oh volumizing God. shampoo. Exactly. Right. This Heather <laughs> if I get a blowout, I need a larger fit. fit. fit when hat. I get a blowout, I gotta wear this. I gotta wear this seven and five. Ridiculous. Yeah. With three grown men, don't you have blowouts? Um, Andy, uh, you're the only one that's getting a blowout, dude. 
Yeah, yeah it's, I, I guess, there's well, some jokes to be made here. There but are I'm not so gonna many jokes. Them. I'm not going to make them. There are so many jokes. Didn't you think a blow out or a blow dryer was a blow job when you were a little boy? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Andy. It was one of those moments. And by little boy, That's I mean until you were late teens. <laughs> no, when I was, the story was, you know, and, and again. My mom and dad tells this story. They do. We were. It was a different time, and th- I'm so thankful for that, but, you know, I think I was like 11 or 12. And what? I, and I was like 11. Yeah, 11? I think so. Dude, uh, 10 or, really? 10 or, 10 or 11. Well, there was no internet. Uh, yeah, there was no internet, man. Like, like if your parents weren't talking to you about years it. old? I think I was I think I was eleven because I think I was going into sixth grade, so I was like eleven, like, maybe Lord. ten, eleven. And you know, obviously, you think you know it all, but unlike the kids today, which unfortunately do know everything because they could just look it up no matter what happens, and yeah. they're not even if you put parent locks on their phones, the other kids do it, and a lot of bad bad, bad parents out there. So you know, um, and so I was like, I know what I'm doing. I remember Dad having a conversation with me and going like, All right, so you know, look, I mean, sixth grade, you know going to be going to be in middle school now and mm. you know and uh you know it's the real deal you know and i was like all right you know he's like don't worry dad i know everything and he's like well, what do you mean you know everything i was like i know everything i know about kissing and about first and second and third base i know about all that stuff because my friends taught me he's like okay all right i was like and uh and uh you know i know what a blow job is and he was like you okay where'd you hear about that and i was like dad okay it's when you take a hair dryer Oh. And you put it down there and, you know. Dry everything up. Warm exactly. yourself up. Dry everything up. And he nice. was like, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to sixth grade thinking that was what a BJ was. Yeah. So, yeah. And Matt's Brilliant. right. It was before the internet. And honestly, I'm thankful for that. Like, I'm thankful because clearly, like, it was so cool to just, look, there is a certain innocence that is really refreshing to extend that as long as you can, because once it's gone, like you spend the majority of your life knowing everything. So like, it's kind of cool that that was still yet to be found out at that age. And I appreciate that time. You know, I yeah, really do. I remember they, dad and mom came to me a little earlier than you. I think maybe I was four. <laughs> kidding. I think maybe I was like eight. Yeah. And uh, sure. they wanted to read me this book. Uh, where do, uh, where did I come from? Where did I come from? Oh right. my yeah. gosh. Still available by the way. You I think we talked Amazon. about and, this um, before. Yeah. We've actually, I think we have talked about this already, I but, mean, but go. Cause mom, I read that book too. Where did I come from? We all read it. Yeah. Where did I come yeah. from? Weird like, animated like, characters. Yeah. Like three or four pages into it. I was like, dad, this really isn't necessary. I was like, no, it's necessary. I was like, no, you don't understand. I've been watching, uh, national geographic since I was like three years old. Gotcha. Uh, you know the spring mating specials. I, I know, I know how yeah. this all works. And you did, yeah. And he yeah. was like, "Oh, really? How?" And I was like, "You know, a man has his thingy, a girl's thingy. He puts it in there. They, they, you know, consummate a baby. The the sperm fertilizes the. I went into it all scientific. Oh my yeah. god! He was like, <laughs> and it only and it only happens <laughs> in the month in the mo- in the months of February and oh, March. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. a little different than human yeah. uh, species. Like, but yeah. Then, wow. Yeah, I went all. I took all through them. I took him through like the gestation period. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Everything, how the babies develop, what the babies. Man, you know, the way you, the way you, the way you started off, it almost sounded a little like Joe Pesci. You were like, "Look, the guy's got his thing. The woman's got her thing, and they do the thing, yeah. and they do the." Who taught you this, mobsters? Where did you? <laughs> I Uncle watched Vinny, watch Goodfellas. Uncle, oh Uncle, Uncle Vinny, Uncle Vinny, and his friend Tony, <laughs> and you do the thing, and you do the that with the. This was Philly. Yeah, so, yeah, it was Philly. Yeah, no, we had a lot of that, but that's 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 very funny, guys. Yeah. Guys, you know what? What? I think we're. We're out of time. We're out of time, and we, you know. Wow, and we, wow. Okay, guys. Well, we saved it with a solo. Yep. We're out of time. Saved it with a solo. Listen, you know what? Uh, unfortunately, Un- unfortunately, we, we yeah, we're out of time. So, so we we're can't not gonna be able to get to Joy Fatone today. No, our sincere apologies go out to Joy Fatone. We will definitely have you on next time. Sorry, we ran out of time, everybody. Fatone. Yep. yep. Next time, pal. For sure. All right. God bless everybody. Have a great weekend. Thank, Thank you for week, watching, everybody. Yeah. The Brotherly Love Pod. Have a great week. See you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, what's up, everybody? The The Lawrence Lawrence Brothers Brothers are here. here. Thank you so much for enjoying this week's episode of the Brotherly Love Pod. And if you want more of this show, check out our premium feed on Supercast. That's right, where you'll see ad-free episodes, monthly AMAs, behind-the-scene content, and so much more. That's brotherlylove.supercast.com to join. Check out our link tree and subscribe on all platforms. We'll see you all next week. week.